Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to add a potential duplicates component to your lightning page. So I'm gonna go hop over to leads and then go just to any lead or any record that you want to have as potential duplicates. Go up to the gear icon and then hit edit page. This will take us to the lightning app builder where we can go ahead and find that potential duplicates, drag and drop it. So I'm coming over here. So we have different components that we can add. Standard components are ones that Salesforce thinks are very useful to uh, just most people and most orgs. Um, you can have custom and then managed package ones. So managed package ones are kind of like, let's say on your opportunity, if you wanted to be able to send a DocuSign right from your page of an opportunity, then you'd likely have a custom managed component for DocuSign. But for this one, we're gonna go to potential duplicates over here, and then we can drag and drop wherever we want it. So if we wanted to have it at the top, I think that's really useful, just so then you can quickly see, hey, this isn't duplicated. You could add this to the bottom if you wish. Um, it's just a simple drag and drop tool. Um, if you wanted to get rid of it, there is a little trash can icon, and that's for just about any of these over here. You'd drag and drop it or use the trash icon. I'm going to hit save here. And then because I've been, I've already activated this for an org wide default, it's not going to prompt me to do that. Typically, it would prompt me to do that. And when you activate this lightning page, you'll have to set it for a few different specifications. You can have this be for everyone, which is the org wide default or you could have it be the app default. So only if you're in the sales app, then you'd see this, or you could do it based upon app record type and profiles. So let's say you had two lead record types, one for open and one for closed. You would be able to differentiate where potential duplicates was or where these different components are based upon if they are open or closed. So that can be really useful for a lot of different types of records, like mainly leads and opportunities but that's kind of beyond the scope of this video. When it close, I am gonna hit back. And then we should see potential duplicates here right about the top. So now this is super useful, but this will be pulling from your duplicate rules that you have already set up. I have a video, I'll try and link it down below on setting up duplicate rules. Just a quick overview, they help match leads and other records that might be duplicated in your system. I think it's really important to do this on something that is fairly unique across multiple people um, that have the same name. So an email or a phone number can be really useful to match duplicates. But that is going to be it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can check out the Salesforce courses in the description box down below or on salesforceupscale.com. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at EmilyCallMBA. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.